Hello, fire signs. Welcome, welcome. I am Jess with Key Tarot. I'm just going to do a real quick general reading for you guys, and then I'm going to go through um, sign by sign. I'm going to add Ophia Kiss down here. I'm going to lump you guys in with our fire signs, even though I know you're not actually a fire sign. I'm just going to do it that way. All right. Um, all right. Let's just say a quick blessing and we'll get rolling. All right. Holy Spirit, we thank you so much for being with us here today and in every single breath that we take. We ask that you direct our hands, our hearts, our words, and our minds to work your will in our lives each day. And we ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them. Amen. All righty. Let us get, um, let's use this artist inner vision tarot to start for you guys. Bottom of the deck, I have the hanged man that comes out, um, just hanging out there. Sometimes under the deck can be like an underlying issue that you, that's kind of lingering on. Um, this hanged man energy is that it's a card of Pisces, but it's somebody who's been waiting to take action in the situation, waiting to, um, know how something's going to work out, waiting to know how something's going to end. It's kind of being suspended in motion in some way. Could have been in a lingering situation. Four of Pentacles. Huh. Four of Pentacles. This is an energy of holding on to everything. This is specific to this artist's inner vision tarot. It, it feels like somebody, it, it says on the coin, it says, in God we trust, all others pay cash, right? Um, and this is someone who's having trouble trusting, again, in a situation. They could be worried about finances. They could just be um, wanting to hold on to things. To save, I have the fool that comes out on its side, and I have the wheel of fortune on its side too. Mm. Um, this is someone who is about, they're like on the cusp of something new with this fool. Um, that's the number zero card in the deck, and the, the wheel of fortune is the ten. Is the ten. Tens indicate cycles of completion, and obviously the fool is a brand new beginning. And it feels like this person can sense that, like an impending sense of newness but it's not here yet it may come around during Sagittarius season Wheel of Fortune is part of Sagittarius I have the seven of swords um, this is somebody who's waiting for the other shoe to drop or they can be waiting for something to be exposed here the seven of swords is um, it's untruths um, or it can be um, hold on the devil on its side, ooh, and the nine of wands just wowza. Um, I feel like there's an energy of truth coming to light. There's an energy of exposure here that's really present. Um, that seven of swords can be untruths coming out or uh, whenever it comes out on its side, it feels like, okay. This is somebody who's really kept themselves to themselves for a while. And this nine of wands is that wounded warrior energy. And it just flipped way across the table over here. When I have cards that come out and they fly across the room or under the table or, or whatever, um, it's like an energy of someone who doesn't want to talk about something. It can feel like the truth coming out about a situation that there was a lot of toxicity within. Um, the devil is the card of Capricorn, but it is it indicates situations that have enslaved us for some time or we've been chaining ourselves to it can be about addictions it can be about um obsessions it's it's not so great um and there's someone here who's put up a lot of walls and boundaries around themselves you guys may have felt quite hurt by someone by some things that were said there's an energy of the something not being entirely truthful like a lot of smoke and mirrors here but there's also someone who's admitting a lot of things about themselves maybe this is the energy you guys have just been in for a while because it feels like it's very lingering um and with this fool energy and this wheel of fortune coming out on the side this is somebody who recognizes that this new beginning and this change of um space change of energy isn't going to happen unless they put a lot of effort in to change the situation and i gotta be honest this kind of has y'all's energy on it so i don't know 
This is somebody who's really been keeping people at an arm's length. I don't know if it's because of other people's toxicity or this person is dealing with that within themselves, but there's a change that's coming. There's just gonna have to be a change that comes, right? So let's see. Let's use this Deviant Moon Tarot to clarify. Bottom of the deck is the Hierophant card, and that's the card of Taurus. It's a card of commitment. It can be a card of marriage. It can be a card of um, seeking help from someone above you. Got the Ace of Wands there, and there's like... Um, it's that indicates a new change of direction, really that ace of wands. This is someone who all of a sudden is going to have a lot more energy in their system. Um, there's a lot of healing and new growth potential coming towards you fire signs. Um, whatever this situation is, it's kind of mucky and murky over here. I feel like you've isolated yourself from it somehow. And there's some kind of a silver lining here. And I feel like um, there's some support coming into you from a lot of people. Um, there's a lot of people who really, really love you. I have the emperor in the reverse. Um, that's the card of Aries. It's also the card of divine masculine. The emperor in the reverse is someone who has lost a lot. I have the page of pentacles. This is someone who's rebuilding themselves. There it is. This is somebody who is about to start rebuilding themselves. What is this? Seven of swords, man. Temperance. That is the card of Sagittarius. So we have got Sagittarius here twice. We've got Aries in here already. Mm. Okay. I like it when y'all represent. Nicely done, fire signs. Um, but this temperance energy is this change that's coming here, this Sagittarius season that we're about to be in. There is a major change here, and it feels like this... Um, all of this is starting to come to light during this season, and somebody tried to keep this under wraps for as long as they could, and... Mm. No. Ace of Cups in the reverse. This can be about an ending of a relationship. This can be... A heartache. This can be a lot of tears cried. I've got the magician in the reverse, which is the, um, for me as a reader, it's the card of Ophiuchus, but for a lot of other readers, it's the card of Aries also. So you got Aries in here twice. And they have the Knight of Pentacles over here. This person's rebuilding themselves quickly from this situation, whatever it's been. This emperor, they um, have had a plan for a while. Um, as to how to open up again somehow. Um, that Four of Pentacles there is someone who's been having to keep people at an arm's length for a while. Same with that Nine of Wands, that Wounded Warrior energy. Somebody has been kind of damaged in a situation here, it feels like, and it's caused a lot of heartbreak. Uh, and it feels like all of this stuff is kind of being dredged up to the surface. Um, and it feels like it happens during Sagittarius season and it feels like it's meant to be, uh, um, and it feels like it's going to be okay because there are a lot of people that love you very deeply and they are going to be very supportive of, um, whatever this kind of exposure energy is where we have someone who's had to rebuild themselves and restart themselves. They've actually grown exponentially and it's <sighs> page of cups in the reverse and the hanged man in the reverse. Um, there, there are a lot of, um, apologies being made in this month of Sagittarius that's coming up here. It seems to be important um, this time that's coming up. 
Page of Cups in the reverse is someone who needs to extend a message of love, kindness, forgiveness, support, friendship, whatever. And it feels like that is what rebalances this energy in your life. And um, I think you are waiting for other people to reach out to you in some way with this hanged man in the reverse. That's the card of Pisces. The only energy I'm not seeing in here yet is Leo specifically. So y'all may be on a different wavelength. Whoops. Well, this is not even the right deck. Actually, let's just, let's slide this up here and let's just roll into this with, we'll start with Aries over here. Let's see here, Aries. Um, and let's just pull a few cards for you guys and see how this is playing out in your life because you're here pretty heavily. Um, we've got that you with that emperor there and also there was something else over here too. I forgot where I put it. Oh, and that fool card too. And, and the magician, there it is. Um, all right, for Aries, let's use this. Um, yeah, let's use this Tower of Wonderland for you guys. Mm. Queen of Cups in the reverse. This is someone who may have a broken heart. It might be you. It may be someone that you have affected in some way. It's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Um, the, um, it can be a mother. It doesn't have to be female, but it carries a feminine energy. The Queen of Cups in the reverse. Someone who's a little overly emotional, Aries. And it feels like this is not you. It feels like you're dealing with someone else's emotions. And they're overly emotional and possibly for good reason, I don't know. And again, this could be you, feel free to reverse it. I've got the Page of Swords here. This has you wanting to, um, there's a message that you wanna send. There's something you wanna say. It's very honest. Mm. And there's love behind it. Ace of Cups, there it is. Um, Ace of Cups is a brand new love relationship that's coming towards you or that you want to extend to someone. And I love this um, depiction of the Ace of Cups. This is the Tarot of Wonderland by Barbara Moore. Um, but you can see there are two cups present. And the waterfall in the background represents the water of um, like the Holy Spirit, the Holy, um, you know, Holy Water that runs through us. It's like energy, right? Um, and it feel, it's like representative that, that will all, your cup will always be full if you fill it from the right water source, right? And these two individuals understand that whoever is coming towards you or whoever you're going towards, there's definitely a message that you send or receive this week, Aries. Knight of Wands in the reverse, the world in the reverse. Knight of Wands in the reverse is the card of Sagittarius, um, but it's also, so you may be dealing with another fire sign here, but there's an energy of um, non-committalness here. It can be an energy of promiscuity, or it can also be something that is um, done impulsively and causes a lot of drama. Um, with the world in the reverse, this is something that could potentially throw your world upside down. Um, I'm not loving that because the Knight of Wands in the reverse, they are not somebody who sticks around typically. Two of Swords in the reverse. You may be meeting this person at a bad time in their life or they may be meeting you um, when you're not your best self because with the two of swords in the reverse, maybe this is past, mm, I don't think so. If it is, it would have just happened within the last couple of months. Two of swords in the reverse is someone who can't make up their mind as to where they wanna go, what they wanna do. Non-committal. Mm. There's the King of Wands, that's Leo, um, but Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, 
I think somebody takes the situa takes charge of the situation. I think that's you, Aries. I think that this is somebody who starts to represent themselves very authentically. Maybe it is true that you have some of these aspects of non-committal or um, behavior in yourself and you're tempering that. Maybe you've seen the way that's dismantled you or derailed you in the past. Or maybe it's just, I'm hearing like it's decision time. Judgment in the reverse. Um, judgment in the reverse can be simply that, um, misjudgment of a situation. Um, I feel like you may want to extend yourself to someone who either, I don't know if they're so great. I don't, I just don't, I just. A high priestess on its side. Um, I'm like, that's about watching those red flags. That's about, um, really paying attention to things, really noticing how you feel intuitively. It's um, starting to become more aware of like the physical signs in your system when you um, interact with other people's energy here. So this, and I know that sounds kind of lofty Aries, but it's, um, I feel like you're extending yourself towards, or someone's coming towards you that may be kind of like a powder keg of drama in some way, or it has been in the past, because with this um, world card in the reverse, this is a situation that has been clung to. There's like old energy here. It's not, um, it's like been left open-ended or something. And I just, it feels stale. And I think that it's, there's like a time to, that's, Eight of Pentacles in the reverse to stop investing in the situation. And because I, I think it's, I, it's like fatal attraction. You remember that old movie from the 80s, Fatal Attraction? This is kind of what it feels like, Aries. It's like, um, don't open that door. Don't open up that can of worms or something like that. Um, there's an energy of this wounded warrior over here. It's like wanting to extend yourself towards um, maybe like renewing a friendship or a love relationship, rekindling something, and you hoping that it's going to be better. You hoping that it's going to improve your life in some way or that this situation has been improved in some way. But I think like very quickly you rec start to recognize these real red flags in someone that it's, it's like very triggering and all of a sudden you realize that you have maybe not evolved as much as you thought you had if you're still attracting this kind of energy towards you or this other person has not evolved as much as you had hoped they had. Um, I think that's the sitch there. Um, let me pull just like a couple more out here. Let's use this Chicoli deck real quick. Yes, and I've got the page of wands right there, which is the card of Aries. This is somebody who is like intent about, and there's the high priestess again in the reverse. This doesn't have to be like love life related. It's got a lot. I mean, it's got that ace of cups there, which is like a new love relationship. However, it can be related to business or friendship as well. That that high priestess in the reverse again, though, it's because you've had that out twice. That means that's important. Um, it feels like you haven't been good at reading the signs of this in the past. This person may, there's, the high priestess is just highly intuitive, highly psychic. Um, hmm. I feel like you're just kind of intent on, maybe that's it, hold on. I, the chariot. There you go. Um, I think you just want to tie up whatever this loose end is so that everyone can move on. Actually, I think that you're like, okay, I'm sold. This reading is telling me that this joker is just that. Um, it, and with the chariot card, that's the card of cancer. And it feels like somebody who's ready to move on. Um, not just physically, but mentally, emotionally, spiritually, all the ways this person's like, okay. And I just wanted to reach out and extend some kind of 
communication here. And you know, I was just talking about in that general reading up ahead, um, that there's gonna be a lot of issuances of apology or forgiveness or love, um, kindness, like in the, with the best of intentions um, during our upcoming Sagittarius season. And I think for fire signs in general, and I think that you um, fall into that group. Just, I wouldn't expect this person to stick around. Um, and it feels kind of inflammatory. I think that you're smart though, and you'll be able to read the room on that one, right? Um, especially with that high priestess that's coming in there twice. This is somebody who all of a sudden has the ability to start, um, you know, using their intuition more wisely um, with the people they allow in their space. Okay, thanks for letting me read for you, Aries. Next up, I'm going to read for Leo. Um, all right, what do we have for Leo? Let's, um, let's use this Tarot of Dreams by Cyril Marchetti. This was given to me by a dear friend who is a Leo. Now, you guys were the ones I was saying that here in this general spread, um, I didn't see a lot of you. Let's see how you kind of tie into this whole vibe here. It was kind of this energy of apologies and things coming back into balance, probably um, during Sagittarius season for all of us fire signs, Leo, and in case you missed the general. And it feels like someone who's rebuilding themselves and kind of on the cusp of a new beginning where things are going to start improve, improving, but it's only after a time of some kind of exposure and an ending of toxicity that you propel into your own life. That's kind of the vibe here. There's a lot of healing to be gained during Sagittarius seasons, my point. All right, what do we have for Leo? We got the magician right on top of the magician. Leo, you're taking care of business. And quite honestly, you've um, started to want really good things for yourself. There's a balance that's coming in for you. You're about to be in a real positive, healthy flow in your life. And it's coming up quick. It's going to be within the next couple of weeks that you start to feel this real, um, just kind of a positive glow in yourself. And it seems like everything that you plan, it goes smoothly. Nicely done. Oh, look at you. I've got the Ten of Cups on top of that, Leo. That is um, an energy of um, a family coming together. It can be a blended family coming together. It can be an energy of marriage. It can be, um, it's like the epitome of luxury and love. Perhaps this is something you're manifesting for yourself here. Um, it's kind of swirling around you. You could be adopting a pet. I have the Nine of Cups in the reverse, the Wheel of Fortune upright, and the Nine of Pentacles. This is somebody who's, um, you know, the Nine of Cups in the reverse can be an energy of over-drinking, over-celebrating, so just take heed there. Um, it can be someone also who didn't feel like their dreams were ever going to come true and it seems like you're shifting that energy. It's almost like someone who thought, it's kind of like that feeling like your dreams were never going to happen, like you had lost a lot of time or that you've been alone for a long time or you were never going to meet the right person or, you know, something was never going to happen for you. And all of a sudden, there's this real shift that comes in with that Wheel of Fortune energy, which is the card of Sagittarius. I was just saying things are going to um, be improving for you drastically during that season, Leo. Um, and I have the Nine of Pentacles here, which is someone who may be starting their own business. This is someone who may be um, experiencing a lot of independence in their lives. And and it feels like everything that you've, I'm hearing like Midas touch, everything you touch turns to gold this week, Leo. Um, and this 10 of cups is just a real energy of fertility and love for sure. I've got the King of Wands. There you are, Leo. Nicely done. Showing up. Yeah, it feels like you guys are in fact the ones that are not kind of it seems like you're kind of in riding a different frequency than the other um, fire signs here. But this King of Wands energy is someone who recognizes you all of a sudden are going to have a lot of potential and a lot of fire behind you. So choose wisely the people and the experiences you choose to invest in. Be careful not to um, blow through all of those positive vibes too quickly. 
Don't over gamble. Um, don't burn out too fast with it. Page of Cups in the reverse because it's like a danger of overplaying your hand a little bit. Um, don't, just keep anything that you're working on to yourself and know that you have a lot of positive vibes coming towards you. And there's this real undercurrent of love or marriage coming towards you, but don't um, keep it on the down low. There you go. Because with this Page of Cups in the reverse, things may... If, if you burn through this energy, like you burn too hot with this in some way, um, you risk kind of um, burning through it too quickly, right? That's like um, if you get a big windfall of money or something, a bonus from work or something, save some aside. Or um, if you're doing very well at the casino, get out while you're actually ahead. Um, that sort of thing. Now I have the Page of Wands on its side. That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, specifically Aries. Um, this is someone who sends a message of flirtation or interest or curiosity. It's kind of immature. There we have it. There it is, the tower. I was just gonna say, it's kind of immature to come in with these pages, um, but this is somebody who kind of like overshoots their hand in some way with this tower energy. This is um, something that gets cut off quickly um, and something that comes to an abrupt end and kind of like in a fire, in a fiery way, kind of like a fireball mushroom cloud. There it is. Oh, good. Oh, Leo. So just slow your roll, basically. Um, and that may cause this energy to shift a little bit. Trust me, things are going to start to smooth out very nicely in Sagittarius season for you. Um, I just, I feel like these are actually two separate situations here, but they're not entirely. They're linked. Um, I feel like you just, it's almost like you've met the person of your dreams or something and don't scare them off or something. Or maybe this is someone around you too. Um, this person, if so, they may come in a little too hot and strong for you. And you're like, but I'm Leo. I love hot and strong. So maybe, I don't know. Alrighty. Anything else you guys want to say about this? I'm going to clarify real quick with this Chicoli deck. Two of Swords in the reverse. This is somebody though, I think you're like, well, I don't want to be walking on eggshells around a person. I don't want to have to tiptoe on this tightrope and like try to find the right balance here. I just want to be myself. Yeah. And with that hermit energy that was on the other side, that's the card of Virgo, but that's somebody who, um, they're like, I... I feel like I've grown enough into myself. I just want to be who I am. Either you're on board or you're not. Fine. I agree. There you have it. Um, you get the four of wands crossing this. Um, this is somebody that you would consider to be a partner in your life. The four of wands is that twin flame 1111 awakening card. It can be like right on top of that magician energy. This is kind of the and and this ten of cups. This is what you're trying to manifest for yourself. And that this is what you're magnetizing yourself towards, Leo, is this um, new relationship that involves marriage and that's what you want right now you're in this very independent state this is if it relates to your love life if not if this is an energy that seems to follow more with your career then what you want is a partnership or a place in which you can grow it's all about the four walls that you are sitting in every day and your physical health and body and like how you want to spend your time and your energy you are trying to find the right thing for yourself and it's about to shift into place now Eight of Pentacles, that's the career and work-life card, and you're struggling to find balance right now. Um, you may be over, like, um, burning the candle at both ends. You know that? 
If so, you're going to get tired and you're going to feel overworked. And there's the Nine of Pentacles again in the reverse. And if um, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse <laughs> on that Tower card is someone who may find themselves single again or find themselves um, uncomfortably independent again. Um, and that is not something that you want. Right now you're in a place where you're starting to grow, you're starting to build. It feels like one little wrong move could like upset the balance in some way. There's something little that pops up here where we have you kind of in danger of burning out or mm, overplaying a hand here. So just take note of that, Leo. But the rest of this all looks pretty, pretty positive, especially going into next month. So hang in there and I will catch up with you guys soon. Um, next up, we are going to read for Sagittarius. And let me just clean these up from Leo. All righty. Sagittarius. Okay. Let's use this Night Sun Tarot for Sagittarius. I hope you guys are doing well. I got the five of swords for Sagittarius. What has happened? Somebody is um, regretting things that they've said or done is what it feels like. This person's got their head in their hands. This can be the energy of gossip. This can be the energy of verbal bullying. This can be the energy of um, how did I get into this place? I have the ace of swords underneath that. And that is somebody who sends a message. It can be eye opening, it can be cutting. I'm hearing it's like an uncomfortable truth in some way. Ah, I've got the two of swords. You've got a lot of air sign energy here. And then I've got that page of swords on top of that one. This is the energy of someone who's been being watched from a distance. Um, this uh, page of swords can be an energy of spying or um, looking in on social media, something like that. Um, it's with this two of swords, there's somebody here who's at a crossroads. Should I do this? Should I do that? Should I go this way? Should I go that way? Um, this is... Mm, I have the Hierophant in the reverse. This can be about a marriage. This can be about a major commitment. It's the card of Taurus as well. And it's in the reverse. Um, this is somebody who's very unhappy about a situation or they can be um, exposing or... Um, hmm. Seven of Swords. This is, oh man, um, this is somebody, this dude, you have a lot of swords on here. It's all swords. And then this card of Taurus in the reverse. Like I had a level with you here. You got the Seven of Swords out here, which is here in the general reading pop up and watch the general reading um, that relates to all this, the fire signs. But the Seven of Swords is about, um, the Seven of Swords is somebody who's typically known for not telling the truth about things. And it feels like there's been a situation where somebody has said unkind things about you or things that weren't true or um hmm. Hmm. there's an energy of online stalking with the page of swords on its side i mean this could be you too In tarot, we have to be really honest with ourselves if we find a reading that um, either resonates with us or it doesn't. I'll notice that if it's a reading that like pertain, pertains to me and like I'm like the negative energy in it, like my stomach will hurt or something, I'll be like, mm, yeah, that's true. I do that thing or whatever. Um, and if it's somebody, if it sounds external to you, you'll know it too. You'll have to learn how to read where the energies come from and how to be really honest with yourself when maybe you haven't been at your best self in some way. No shade, everybody does it. With the Queen of Pentacles here on its side, that's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. You may have um, a situation with a Taurus. Um, this could be a mother figure. This could be... Um, 
but they want to speak with you for whatever reason with this eight of wands here that's about fast moving direct communication um right now you may be at a distance from this person and it doesn't have to be those zodiac signs this is someone who's typically very stable and grounded someone who um you know they're just i don't know something's gotten crossed here but they are seeking um a conversation four of pentacles that's weird the music just went off in the kitchen <laughs> oh it just came back on all right um the two of wands um With this Four of Pentacles here, it feels like there's been some change that's happened, some things that have come to light in this situation here. And there's been a change of perspective in some way. But someone is a little pouty or irritated still. Someone's holding on to things from the past. There's um, somebody who's not trying very hard to open up there's been some challenging conversation in some way or something let's see with this two of wands it's it's kind of muddy here i gotta be honest Saggy. with the two of wands here this is somebody who feels like they've really stepped in a situation and it's separated them from other people in some way this person um there's like an energy of like more than one person being involved in this situation can be the energy of gossip. All right, there it is. And I feel like you may have heard about it or something. You may have been part of it, but it feels over here. If that makes any sense, like kind of outside of you. Woo. King of swords in the reverse. Snap, there are just an awful lot of, and the seven of swords in the reverse again, and the sun. Oh, well, that's good. That makes me happy. It does not. Um, so the king of swords in the reverse is, again, like I was saying, there's a lot of people involved here, it seems like. And this could be a masculine energy that, this Aquarius Libra Gemini energy that maybe was um, just kind of spewing, maybe whatever um or this could have been just somebody who spoke without thinking with the seven of swords in the reverse this is an uncomfortable time for whoever this is um because they have to they're kind of forced to eat their own words in some way sagittarius with this sun card that's the card of leo and um there's an energy of healing that comes in after some kind of exposure here now i don't really know how that applies two of wands again these are um, people who are skating on thin ice. You know what I mean? This is you feeling this way. I think you're feeling a lot of trepidation. You could be feeling like, um, it's, like any wrong move, any wrong thing, it's, it's all gonna fall apart in some way. Seven of pentacles in the reverse. Um, everything that you, you, it's like a fear that all of your hard work is going to be reduced to nothing in some way. Good, great. Queen of Swords. This is somebody, I feel like somebody wants to kind of take you out in some way. I know it's like high drama and I don't usually like to read like that, but this is kind of how it is. Um, you've got a lot of air sign energy here. You've got um, a, some, some um, earth sign energy here, but it's, it's very largely outside of you. It doesn't feel like you have a ton of control. It feels like you're worried about a weight, like, poking a bear or awakening some kind of beast or that there's about to be a crack in a shell of someone around you or in your life in some way. And there's like 
stress involved with this. It feels like you feel like you've been watched maybe harshly or something like that. Maybe other people have spread um, rumors or gossip or lies or something and good heavens, I hope not. If this is not your energy, then please don't make it try to fit, right? But this, as you can see, we've got a lot of repeat cards here. And with that seven of swords out there, however many times it's come out, at least twice, um, it's actually come out three times for you guys, I think, right? Oh, it's in there somewhere. Um, but anyway, um, that's a, this issue, the issues of like un, untruths that have been told and it, it's when they're in the reverse like that, things are starting to be exposed and there, it does feel like there are some folks that don't have the nicest things to say or that people who have been involved in gossip in some way and just if that's you <laughs> I think that you don't want to feel that way ever again you know um, if you are behind the harsh words or whatever I think you don't want to feel that way again and if you're on the receiving end of them I think you're kind of bracing yourself for some kind of major fallout. Um, and I, I just get the sense that you're like, Ugh. oh, well, it's like, I'm used to it. Like, uh, I don't know, maybe a lot of people watch you or something. Um, maybe you know a lot of people. Um, I don't know. But there's just kind of like, I, I think you're not even going to sweat it anymore. I think you're going to be like, you know, I just, I can't walk around like this. I just, I have to be me and I'm do my best every day. And I don't always, I'm not perfect. There's, there's kind of that energy about it. Um, I, it does seem stressful. I don't know if this is something that you've just recently been through that you're processing, or if this is coming right around the corner. It feels reminiscent of a reading that I did um, earlier last week, and it does have a lot of similarities with the general fire sign reading that I did that's attached to this reading. And I have to be honest, it's a little bit muddy and murky in there. And it, it's because there's a lot of different energies around it. There's more than one person involved in this situation. It feels like it's multiple people. So I think that's why it was a little bit confusing at times, but there's definitely an energy of exposure. Alrighty. Thanks for letting me read for you, Sagittarius. I will catch up with you next week. If this um, resonated with you at all, please drop a note down in the comments because I'm intrigued. It just seems a little high stress and I just wish you well. All right. See you guys soon. Next up, we have Ophiuchus. All righty, Ophiuchus. We're going to use this Star Power Tarot for you guys. I have the world that comes out in the page wands. Wow. Closing up a lot of loose ends here. Tying up a lot of loose ends here. And starting a, some kind of new project. Yeah, for sure. I got the Justice card. That's the card of Libra. That is things going well for you. That can be um, an energy of legal paperwork going well. Things going smoothly. Um, Libra season is still kind of lingering for you in some way. I've got this eight of pentacles here. You've been doing a lot of work. You could be filing business paperwork, um, like getting ready to do taxes and things like that. You're on top of things. I like it. Um, this four of cups that comes out on its side, this is somebody who kind of just wants to be alone right now. Um, it's almost like moody teenager vibe. Like I just want to be alone. I don't want anybody to talk to me. I want to be alone with my phone and my books. Something like that. Ace of Cups on its side. This is someone who um, is kind of closing themselves off. Yeah, it's true. It's an energy of self-isolation and it's not in a negative way. Um, it's not so much a moody teenager. It's like, uh, I just want to be safe. I just want to be on my own. I just want to be peaceful. I want to be calm. And I think that you don't want any drama. I think you just want to focus on work. And I think you want to focus on rebalancing yourself in some way. Good. 
I have the Knight of Wands that comes out on its side, that's Sagittarius. And I have the Fool in the reverse, which is Aries. So you get a lot of fire sign energy in here. I think that this Knight of Wands energy, I know it is the card of Sagittarius, but when it comes out on its side like that, it feels like you don't want to really fully extend yourself in any direction. You're feeling very non-committal right now. And it's because with this fool card in the reverse, you feel like you're still catching up from things in the past. And I think you just kind of want to slow life down a little bit. Oh, Fiacus. Wow. You've got the nine of cups there on its side and you have the sun card. Um, I think that you're trying to design what it is that you want for the next few months of your life. Um, I think that you're looking towards some self-healing here. I think that you are trying to get um, as many positive vibes back into your life as you can. I think that you're really, um, you know, I think that next summer you're going to be surprised by how much you've grown as a person. And I think your career is probably going to take off next summer as well. So congratulations to you. Um, I think you're going to have a lot of positive vibes coming towards you um, next summer. Right now, I feel like you're kind of designing what you want that to look like. You may be someone who schedules appointments. Like you may be very scheduled. You may have a very far extended into the future calendar. I have the four of pentacles here. You, um, the reason that you are kind of keeping to yourself with that four of cups energy, it feels like you're tired of always being exposed to people. It's like your skin feels a little raw right now, Ophiuchus, and you're tired of all of the eyes on you all the time. I think that you want to focus on work and I think that you're trying to save yourself. Um, from any kind of drama or stress or worry. I'm like my ears hurt for you just because you. it seems like you listen a lot. And I think that um, you just kind of need some quiet. I have the King of Swords on its side here. Um, you may be starting to um, quietly enjoy your free time doing things that you love to do. Um, you may be starting to write again, or you may be starting to practice a musical instrument or sing again. You may, whatever it is that you're doing, I feel like you're keeping it kind of quiet and to yourself. I don't think you're even talking to too many people right now, Ophia, because I have this Knight of Cups that comes out way over here in the distance, and that's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, but I think there are a lot of people who would like to spend their time with you, but you're not interested. You're keeping everyone at an arm's length. And I've got the Hanged Man out there in the reverse. That's the card of Pisces. And then I have the Seven of Pentacles. Um, you may literally be waiting on a Pisces to reach out to you or something. Um, with this Seven of Pentacles energy, um, this is someone who is comfortable sitting in the space of waiting for things to change. This is somebody who is spending their time working things out, puppeteering and orchestrating um, their lives. You're very focused on yourself, your career, your craft. Nicely done. Anything else you guys want to say about all this? You really aren't talking to too many people. You're not interested. You are quiet. Queen of Cups in the reverse. That's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Get a lot of water sign all up in your junk here. Ophiuchus. Page of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Um, quite honestly, I think this person may um, send you a message at some point in the near future, Ophiuchus. And I think that um, this Knight of Wands is um, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. But beyond that, um, it feels like it comes in really quickly and it surprises you and it makes you really happy. And I think that um, there's going to be a shift probably in Sagittarius season in your love life. And I think you're going to be real surprised by it. You've got the Nine of Cups out there twice, Ophiuchus. And that is... Um, that speaks volumes. Nine of Cups is about wish fulfillment. I always say it's like when the birthday candle wish comes true. Like what? I did not see that coming, right? Yep. 
that's you. Brace yourself. All right, much love to you all. Thanks for watching. I'll catch up with you guys next week. See you soon.